Hi guys, David Texas here. What you're looking at is a part of a keyboard for a uh, old Italian keyboard uh, synthesizer that a friend of mine has. <clears throat> it's been burned out for maybe 10 years, not being able to use it. And this is one of the major reasons why, if you can look at all the crust that's on this uh, particular computer uh, board, you'll understand why. Of course, most of this is an alcoholic beverage. I can tell. I've seen this happen before on uh, boards, none of mine, but other people's that tell me they spill stuff on it, like whiskey or vodka. Usually it's a, you know, very sugary type of uh, alcohol. It's not beer. But, uh, yeah, somebody gets drunk and spills stuff on it, and that just pretty much ruins this board. Now, there's a lot of burn spots on it that I've got to get off here, and what I've got to do is try my best not to uh, dig into any traces. If I do, if I actually split one of the traces trying to get off this this uh, rust, well, I'm going to take a piece of metal and run it uh, outside trace, which I hate doing. I mean, what you end up doing is take, take, take a leg off one of these uh, resistors and uh, solder it on this top of this trace. And now, some of this is just paint. This white uh, color you see me working on. Uh, this is paint, that's no big deal, but these greenish gold looking things, that's a trace. And I gotta try my best not to scratch those or you know break through them by trying to get all this crap off of them. So I gotta we'll go gentle but far enough to get this junk off here. And what I'd love to do is just basically take this whole thing apart and just desolder the whole thing and uh, clean this thing up be the easiest way to do it. But there's a lot of parts on here that I can't replace. They just don't make them anymore. And whatever is close, on some of them is not close enough and it just ends up ruining the whole thing. So I got to clean a lot of stuff in place. Now these extra, you know, resistors I got here, I'm going to move those off anytime I want to. You can make it easier to clean. But the only thing I use is basically a very uh, small flathead uh, screwdriver, just the edge of it, very gently. Use some uh, watered down glass cleaner, it's about 50-50, and just a soft paper towel. That's all I can use to clean this off with. Because anything that's stronger than that, uh, you know, as old as this stuff is, could ruin the trace. You know, get it to come off the board itself. All right, so we finished doing all the uh, soldering work, putting the uh, available resistors in that I've got, as well as uh, I'll clean up a few things on this board as best I could. It's, plus, it's still pretty dirty. You know, I have to do a little extra work on some rust spots that are very apparent. And I've got to get one of the broken uh, switches off, which is right here. You see it's come unglued, so therefore it doesn't click anymore like these click. See this? They still clicks, it's still working. And I tested it, got a signal from them. So right now what I'm gonna do is clip off the extra parts of these uh, resistors I've got left on last night. All right, so what I'm doing now, I've got the uh, board rebuilt and all the uh, crud got off of it that uh, caused it to fry in the first place. And uh, I'm testing a few of these parts down here, such as uh, these two main power capacitors right here. I'll check those out and see what kind of shape those are in. Uh, they look like they've been replaced. I don't know how long ago they were replaced, but looks like they were replaced. So they may be pretty good. And as long as they're not real bad, I'll we'll replace them right now. Just to do a fire up on this thing, test it out. But what I'll do is I'll put power to it, 65 volts to it, for about uh, 15 minutes, get those resistors and those other caps on the other board to uh, start form, you know, forming. Give it a chance to uh, assimilate. That's a good word. I like that word. Simulate. Okay, I'm going to test this one. Uh, it's 25 volts, 1,000 mF. Okay, microfarad. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, it's 952 is what it's registering. That's quite a dip. But uh, that's still usable. I mean, I still fire it up with that.
and see what's going on there. Okay, let's see if there's continuity on this, on these cords. So, ready? So, all I've got to do is touch the end of it, okay, like that. So, I touch the end on the black one, then come over to the black where it's connected. Ta -da, hear that? There's continuity. It means the line's good, all right? Let's go to the white one, see what kind of shape it's in. All right, it's still connected. Yeah, it beat me, will you? <laughs> which is good, which means if this ground's working, then uh, we can go ahead and use this thing. All right, so the cord itself is still working. No problems there. Uh, always good to check continuity on this before you start going crazy and spending all kinds of money on something before you know what's going on. So, uh, will I use this cord? You know, um, no, it's about three feet long. There's no way I'd use that once the job's done. It will have to be replaced. That's all there is to it, guys. Uh, I will replace it. I'll show you how that's done. It's very, very simple. It's already a three-plong plug. So all I gotta do is go in there and uh, you know, open that little press fitting. It uh, holds the uh, cord in place. Keeps it from yanked out of there. Try to reuse that if I can't. A little strain uh, work up on there somewhere by attaching it uh, to the body of the. Uh, I'll attach it to the body. All right, we're going to test the uh, little keyboard and see what kind of shape it's in. See if it burns or not. Okay, amplified properly. Mm -hmm. 